Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. All right, today is, that's yeah, not a bad day. Let's take a look. We got some sunshine that's trying to happen over there. It's been raining for a few days, but it's a little cold up here in Canada. But as you can see, the weather's not bad. So it's time to do some work on my FRS. Okay, so it's time to do some work on the FRS, and um, I've had this since new. I bought this car brand new, 2013. I bought it as a Christmas present for myself. Uh, it was an awesome day to get a brand new FRS. It was something that I highly anticipated, and I was very excited. And I'm still excited all these years later to work on this car, to have this car. Um, I, can't, uh, I can't recommend enough that if you can buy an FRS, you won't regret it. It's a fantastic car in many ways. But the Scion FRS, when it first came out, was a reasonably priced vehicle because it didn't come with a lot of stuff. It didn't come with a lot of options. One thing it did not come with was any fog lights, which is terrible. But as you can see, I've got fog lamps right here. So how can that be? Well, originally there was just a flat sort of plastic panel here that covered this space. It was very ugly. And um, the fog lamps, like what I have here, they did come on Toyota 86s in Japan and also for Europe and the GT86 in Australia. Of course, those cars were actually relatively uh, more expensive than what we had here. So I can't really complain too much, but um, this was not available in North America. So again, us people in North America, Canada, the United States got the short end of the stick, you might say. But coming with such few options, the car was affordable, I could afford it, and you still get the same basic great car. But as you can see, I added fog lamps uh, later on. Now I did that before I had my YouTube channel, so I didn't make a YouTube video on it. And so I thought I'd rectify that a little bit today. Uh, I'm not gonna give a full install video on how to do this because they're already installed. I don't wanna go through the whole thing again. What this is more is more like, I'm gonna give some pointers. If you wanna add fog lamps to your FRS, it can be done fairly easily. And I'm gonna give you a few pointers on how to do it. Now, of course, I'm doing this today because I do have a problem with my fog lamps. They stopped working a little while ago and uh, a rock went through the glass lens of one of my fog lamps, meaning that I had to replace them anyway. So since I'm replacing them anyway, I thought I'd you know, just make a few pointers about what to do if you want to have fog lamps on your Scion FRS. Now you can buy the fog lamp kit for the Scion FRS on eBay or somewhere else. As a complete kit, comes with fog lamps uh, similar to these, would come with a a wiring harness and a switch that you would put somewhere inside uh, maybe cut a hole in your uh, your your dash or something to put a little switch and then whenever you want the fog lamps on you just pull the switch right but the problem with that is that that does not look very OEM and when I first put these fog lamps in I was looking for an OEM style solution because I knew that they did come on the GT86 and the Toyota 86, which is the same as the Scion FRS in other parts of the world. So I was thinking there must be a solution that would make the whole installation look factory. And I was right. Okay, so you don't need to buy the kit that comes with the wiring harness and a, a switch uh, because there's a, a neater way to do it, uh, an OEM style way. I'm gonna show you how that works. Uh, the factory method. Of how this works so I'm gonna do that but first of all uh, let's get access to where the fog lamps are going to be and uh, let's install them first and this is the original okay so this is where when you got your FRS you'd have a flat black panel here and uh, this is your turn signal here and this was just a, a block off panel on the Scion FRS now that original panel could be sort of worked off here. You can see it's got uh, places where it clips in around the whole thing. 
but you really do need to be able to get access to the back of this. So you need to take your wheel off, of course. You need to jack up your vehicle safely with jack stands. And then you have to remove clips up here to move your wheel plastic liner. Then you can get access to some wiring here. But let's not get too far ahead. The first thing you're gonna do if you're installing this the first time yourself is raise it up, take your front wheels off and undo these clips. And I'll show you how to do that on this side because I haven't worked on this side yet. And then of course you're gonna take off your belly pan. And I've got my aftermarket front spoiler here and it's going to have to be loosened at least on the end here. So I have one Phillips head screw for that. Of course, if you don't have that, you don't have to worry about it. And these clips, these little plastic clips can sometimes be rather difficult to, to remove. I find having a little plastic pry tool that you can buy, uh, again, on eBay. And I'll have a link below for everything I'm gonna use in this video that where you can buy these things. But anyway, this thing makes it all a lot easier to get these clips out. Uh, or you could break it like that. Okay, so I've got the front spoiler a little loose. Now let's get these guys off. Now they have a little Phillips head on them, so you can loosen them and then pry them out. So just sort of loosen them like this. Okay, so now we have to remove some clips from underneath. Again, you have these plastic clips here and here, and a bolt right here, 10 millimeter. So we can take those off, and then I have to continue and take off this entire plastic under panel here. Okay, this looks pretty rusted. Let's see if it will come loose. Okay. I managed to get off my plastic under tray. Uh, that took a lot of work. Uh, all the plastic clips were difficult to remove, even though I have the nice special tools you're supposed to have, they still didn't want to come off. And I actually had to take a few of them off just with an old fashioned metal screwdriver. So anyway, that guy's off. I guess everything's getting old, so it's getting more difficult. Now we have to take off this structural panel right here this plastic structural panel is still in our way we still can't get in there and so we have to use 10 millimeter bolts uh, here here and here we got to remove those and take this guy off okay this also is not easy to get off there was another clip little plastic clip right here on this side and down there but now it will come off yes anyway now we can see the inside of the FRS front bumper radiator area. It's very exciting, very exciting indeed. Okay, once we've got all the panels out, we can get access to the back of uh, where the fog light's gonna go. Now, I've got a fog light installed here already, but if you've got a silent FRS that's still unmolested, you'll have nothing here at all. You'll have this sort of panel here which is made for a fog lamp but you'll have nothing here but you will have the plastic flat panel in front and the best way to get it out is to push from behind these little clips you can push these with a the screwdriver sort of make it easier to get the whole thing out uh, because ugh, flat panel will be right here if you try and pull from here you got a good chance of breaking the clips now if you if you don't care, then you can do that. And I'm trying to take my one out because I want to get access to the bolts for the fog lamp here. But it will come out if you keep working at it. Like, 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 like so. There you go. <clears throat> now I don't really care if I break this one too much because because I have some new extra ones. You can get these on eBay. I'll put a link below. You can get these also from Toyota. 
there's a left side and a right side and as you can see there is the part number right there made in Japan okay so after your pile be removed now you'll have nothing in here I do have this because I already put my fog lamp you see how everything is worn out the glass is worn out which is why I've got my new ones I ordered these these are a direct replacement for what I have in there and I'll put a link below for these as well these are from the JDM toy store and they come with the bulbs already in them the H11 bulbs there you go so these are ready to go okay this is what everything's gonna look like once you have this panel removed and as you can see there's actually uh, mounting holes for a fog light there you go okay you get your fog lamps bring them in through the back here and they've got four ears these two are going to be used with bolts these two just fit into slots slots right here there they go then just sort of get this past and there you can see how that's how it's going to be then you're going to have to get yourself some nuts and bolts that will fit through there i happen to have some in my supply if you don't you'll have to go to a hardware store and pick that up tighten this guy up okay that's mounted firmly into the bumper all right so we got the fog lamps actually installed into the bumper into the factory location the next step is the wiring my second fog lamp is installed okay so here's one of the secrets of this video one of the important parts of the video uh, the first part I've just done so far of installing the fog lamps is pretty straightforward but this is something that could be important right here so the wiring I'm going to show you the wiring for both fog lamps and I'm going to show it to you from the driver's side because it's more visible on the driver's side but the principle is the same if you look up here this is our turn signal for the car this is the driver's side turn signal as you can see right there and if you notice it's got three wires going to that turn signal okay and then if we go back to the connector you can see there's the three wires here's the connector for the turn signal and you can see that it's got three wires going in there's a green wire there's a red wire there's a black wire and there is a plug an unused area okay then if we look at the back of this same plug we'll see that there's four wires that go in four go in three go out hmm that's interesting you can see that where we have the blank the plug here on this side of the connector is a red wire with a white stripe <clears throat> and then you have another red wire with the or sorry a white wire with a red stripe this is a red wire with a white stripe then you have a red wire with silver dashes and a black wire can you see that so the red wire with white stripe the one that leads to a blank is the one you want all you got to do is find a way to connect into that red wire with the white stripe and I've done it in a very simple slightly amateurish way with just a, a clamp connector uh, you could solder into it there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it but whatever the simplest way and then you have a connection now what that is what this all means is that on other models of the uh, the FRS or 86 to other markets like Australia or Europe this actually wire would run would go to the fog lamp the fog lamp which is right there and that would control the fog lamp so in other words the wiring harness of the Scion FRS has all 
the necessary wiring and connections to run fog lamps. Mind blown. But that's very common in modern cars. It's just too expensive to make a different wiring harness for all the different options that you might have on a car. So for example, if someone didn't want fog lamps, the wiring harness would still be there. Just the fog lamps are gone, as in the case of the Scion FRS. And that applies to a whole bunch of other options as well. For example, the wiring harness of the Scion FRS has provisions for auto, uh, auto headlights, you know, where they come on automatically when it gets dark, because that is available in other models of the BRZ or the Toyota 86, but not on the Scion FRS. So whatever was available in other markets, the wiring harness and the computer is ready to go. Now these fog lamps are built to take a H11 bulb, 12 volt, 55 watt bulb. As you can see, I hope you can see there. Anyway, it's an H11. That's what fits into the back of the fog lamp. Just like, just like so. Just like so. That will fit in there. So what that means is that you have to have an H11 connector. You have to get yourself an H11 connector, which is what I have here. So yeah, you can buy that at any, perhaps a hardware store, automotive store, uh, at a Lordco or whatever your auto parts uh, center is in whatever town you're in, Canada or USA. You get yourself an H11 connector and then one side goes to a negative source. So in my case, I've got the negative wire here, which is kind of a little loose and ugly looking, but that just goes to a bolt on the, uh, the radiator brace. So that's just a negative. And then of course, the other side is gonna go straight to this red wire with white stripe. And then the wiring is completed for the fog lamp. Do the same thing on the other side, the wiring is completed. All right, I know what you're thinking now. Okay, so that takes care of the wiring at the front, but how am I gonna turn them on, right? Yeah, how are you gonna turn them on? Um, well, let me show you. Okay, I'm sitting in my FRS. Oh, I've got my headlight switch. Oh, but this one looks a little different from a regular FRS. You've got the headlight switch, headlights are on, but notice right here you have a fog light switch. How can that be? The uh, stock FRS uh, headlight stock doesn't come with any of this ring here for the fog lamp. There is no fog lamps on Scion FRSs, right? That's correct. Okay, so basically what happens is this, is that the Scion FRS comes with a stock with no provision for fog lamps. So all you have to do is go to your Subaru dealership and get a headlight stock for a Subaru BRZ, which comes with fog lamps. That's right, the BRZ stock, which is what I have right here, uh, bolts right in place of your stock uh, FRS stock. It uh, bolts right in place and the wiring is already installed into the whole car. So as soon as you install it, it'll plug and play, plug and play. Now, I'm not gonna get into how to install this stock here because that would be for a different video. You can also look that up on the internet. You gotta take off this plastic, undo some bolts, and then connect it. There's no wiring to be done. You just install the connectors into it and it'll start working. Okay, now that the fog lights are in, it's time to install some bezels. Okay, as you can see, these are gonna fit right in like that. You gotta put in, gotta fit everything into the appropriate slots. Once you do that, it will just pop right in. Just gotta get it into the appropriate slots, there we go. Okay, you saw how simple that was. You saw how simple that was. Look at that, that looks awesome. Awesome, now I'll do the other side. Okay, so the fog lamps are working. They look awesome. Now the front end looks much more upscale, much more complete, no more block off plates. You have functioning fog lamps. All right, there you have it, fog lamps are installed. 
Uh, this kind of shows you, the purpose of this video is not to show you every little detail about installing the fog lamps. Uh, I think you can figure out a lot of it yourself and there are other sources of information on the internet. But I wanted to just make it clear that the wiring is built into the Scion FRS for fog lamps that ne it never came with. Uh, and so all you have to do is tap into that wiring, which I showed you, and that will provide power to the fog lamps. And you buy yourself a Subaru uh, headlamp stock with the fog lamps um, ring, and it's just a plug and play. You put it on, you install it, and everything will work as if you did have fog lamps from the factory, including uh, when you turn your headlights off, the fog lamps will not be on. When you use your high beams, the fog lamps will turn off. And that is all because that is required by law. So by installing it this way, you are complying with all original manufacturer regulations. So it's OEM, basically. Anyway, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I hope this video was useful uh, to you. And if you did like it, please subscribe for more videos in the future.